Sparkman Cloud Jewelry is an online boutique with timeless jewelry carefully selected to inspire you to feel confident, beautiful, and endearing. As a one-stop shop for all desirable fashion jewelry, Sparkling Cloud wishes to be a part of your stories and journey to overcome any new goals or accomplishments in life. Purchase your jewelry today at www.sparklingcloudjewelry.com. Hi, welcome to the Finding Love with Charm series. I'm Callie. And I'm Olivia. And today we have the last elimination before the actual first in-person date. And so this is a pretty significant um, uh, point in time. And so there's four gentlemen left. Um, so, Olivia, I'm curious, did you foresee these last four as the last four? Um, I think just like watching all of the one-on-ones and the group dates, I would have to say that I'm pretty surprised on a few, but then on a couple of the others, not so much. Because I, I do feel like they have a connection with charm. Um, and there is some sort of like rapport building between that relationship. And so I I would have to say I'm not super surprised, but I'm surprised all at the same time. How about yeah. you? I, I think when I think back to like when we first look at all the applicants, like I probably would have never guessed. Like, I mean, I I, I think even just looking at the application is such a small little picture of who they are. And so I, I don't think that there's anyone offhand that I would have been like, oh, that person's going to get to the end. But I think yeah. just being able to see them grow and, and you know, um, connect with charm, I think has really, um, they've really proven themselves. So, yeah. Well, and pictures can be deceiving, to be quite honest. Yeah, I think we yeah. definitely learned like a few yeah. things um, on how, you know, just like for our own selves, like I'm sure we to the next batch, right? I feel like yeah. even like first off, like, you know, just knowing stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Because I mean, I think even some of them, like the pictures that they've submitted, it's like nothing like what they look like, not in a bad way, but I think it's just like a different um, phase in their life where, you know, either or like they have a mustache or a beard or long hair, short hair now, you know, so I think it's like changed. And so I think we definitely have some lessons learned on our end on when we ask for things. Right. And, um, you know, I think, I, I think maybe some, you know, some of the men who are left, um, I think at the very beginning, just kind of like looking through the profile or information that they provided us, um, you could have never imagined them ending up where they are today. And so I think, like I said, I'm surprised, but I'm also not surprised, so. Yeah, agree. All right, mm -hmm. so shall we have Charm on? Yeah. Hey, Charm. Hi. How are you guys? Good, Good how are you? Doing? I feel like. Good. <laughs> Kelly has been on vacation and she is yeah, back and we are ready to have her back. Yeah, I feel like it has been a long time, even to sit in front of like the camera and just be like, yeah. gosh, this feels this feels foreign to me right now. <laughs> How did your vacation go? It was good. It was for my brother's wedding, and so it was really, oh. really good. Yeah, just to watch him um get married and welcome a new sister into the household. So uh, congratulations to him. <laughs> of love. Um, you know, we are finally at the final four. And so, you know, I think just and you know, I I, I think you're gonna eliminate one person tonight. And so um what that means is that you're gonna finally meet throughout all this time, right? Since March, yeah. like you're gonna finally meet three gentlemen. And so how are you feeling as you walk into this elimination? Um, I think I'm ready for it. Um, I'm ready to meet these men. It's been quite short, but quite long too. the journey. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm ready to meet them. So I'm excited. Yeah. Um, of course, it's, it's hard going into it. Um, I thought about this all night. Um, you know, I made my decision the other day that I'm going to eliminate one and meet three only. And so I thought about it long and hard. And I just picture myself being in a relationship with each and every one of them and who I feel like I could see myself being with the most out of them four. So, yeah. 
So as you reflect on like just, uh, you know, going through elimination and eliminating each one as you have gone through your journey, what has been the thing that like keeps them around for you? Mm -hmm. I think the effort they put in, um, their interest, um, and just the personality, the flow, the conversations we have, we've had, and just a little bit of everything, but a lot of the effort that they put in too yeah and i definitely feel like they have really um you know uh, the challenges the group dates have been sort of the working of you know the the three of us and a lot of that from yourself as well you wanting to see different things from them and so um i'm i, I hope that you have been able to see their different personalities and, and see them get outside of their their comfort zone it's been it's been great to watch <laughs> Do you, do you out of mine. I'm sorry, what's that? No, I was gonna say, do you feel like so it's been exactly three months uh since this journey has started for you from um just the first like the masquerade theme introduction that we had uh, that was really fun till now. Do you feel like that has been enough time for you to get to know these men enough to where you somewhat feel comfortable or, or safe in, in for an in-person date? Yeah, most definitely. Um, I think we chatted enough times for me to feel safe enough meeting them. Um, they are coming to my town for the most part. And yeah, I do. I think I trust these men enough for sure. Um, and they are great men, so yeah. Eric, though, is the only one that I know the least. I've only known him for what, like, a couple of weeks. But um, he does yeah. have a really friendly um, personality too. I think that's probably why you're you're you know um, like drawn into him. I think his personality is just super yeah. like out there, really fun and talkative and friendly. So um, he definitely has that like trustworthy vibe. But we shall see. <laughs> Yeah. All right. So, Kelly, should we um, let Charm off so she can get going on um, elimination? Yes. Okay. A so, we'll, yep. We'll chat with the guys for a little bit just to kind of see how they're feeling, and then we'll bring you on to start the elimination process. All right. I'll All see right. you guys. Good luck, Charm. Thanks. Hi, guys. Hello, Hello. Kelly. Hello. How are you guys feeling tonight? Nervous. I'm good. Nervous. I'm good. <laughs> Nervous. Same as every elimination. <laughs> <laughs> Just Nervous, right. anxious, want to get it over with. Yeah. So at basketball, the final four is a big moment. And so we have here the final four. And so mm -hmm. I like to just have each of you kind of talk about that journey of like when you first applied um, and then being part of it. And did you think that you would get this far? And then for you, Eric, you can kind of talk about, you know, just coming in when you did. Okay. Let's start with Jer. Yeah, I mean, um, starting off from the very beginning, I was very, very nervous just to be a part of all this. I know there's a lot of great guys out there. And like you said, you guys have over 150 applicants. So I was very, very surprised to be, you know, top 30 to top 16 and 15 and now top four. Um, never in my life would I had ever thought that I would make it this far. <laughs> but I think um, me along with everybody else, we did a great job just truly being ourselves. So, you know, it's all these guys are great and I can't wait to see what happens next. Jesse? Um, I think that uh, this journey has been uh, very good so far. I mean, I applied out of the blue. I wasn't going to apply, actually. I was like, you know what, let me submit it, submit it. And I was surprised to be picked. And then I did my intro video. I wasn't sure if I was going to be selected. Um, but all I can do is just be me, right? So um, I feel like throughout this journey, uh, you know, there's been a lot of great, unique guys out here. Um, and Charm uh, has to go through the selection process. So it's really even, I, get, I guess, 
what I'm saying is it's way more challenging for her. Uh, but it's, I think it's been a lot of fun and just experience overall has been great. I mean, getting to meet uh, all these guys and, and then you too as well as Charm. So yeah, I think it's been really good so far. Chang? Yeah, so uh, same thing as Jer and Jess, you know, from the start to the end, uh, it's definitely been an experience, a roller coaster of some sort. Um, it's It's been fun. It's definitely, at least for me, um, I, I don't put myself in the public eye too often, but uh, that's definitely something that was out of my zone. But it's been good, um, both the ups and downs of, of all of it, right? And so um, I, I, it was a pleasure to work with uh, all of the guys that were from the beginning all the way until now. And so I yeah, just wanted to take the time to wish you for you know good luck. You know, we don't know what's going to happen, but no matter what happens tonight, um, you guys are a good group of guys. And I wish you guys you know the, the best in your endeavors and what you guys want to do next. And I really do hope that you guys find um, someone special uh, whether it be charm or whether it be someone else that uh, is comes in future, right? So, uh, and it's it's been a pleasure. So, um, best of luck, and and we'll go from there. Eric. Okay, so for me, you know, like starting in halfway was, uh, you know, it's definitely a challenge, really hard. You know, because um, I'd have to, you know, pretty much step everything up to try to catch up these guys. You know, they're they're all great guys. So it's not like, you know, it's like everybody says, you know, it's not like we have any advantage over the other. You know, to me, we're all friends, you know, um, trying to get the same girl. I mean, you know, no hard feelings to anybody. And, you know, we're a great group of guys anyways, you know. I mean, like like me and like we were saying earlier, you know, all you guys, you know, we're, you're, when you guys see me, you guys are always welcome to come sit at my table, hang out, whatever. You know, and the journey has been definitely been fun, super challenging. And, you know, I'm just excited to see what will happen uh, towards the end here. So, yeah, it's definitely been fun for us to see all of you grow. And I think, you know, through the, the group dates and the weekly challenges and all the other things, I think seeing you guys put yourself out there and, um, you know, this is not a natural process, right? Having seen comments, like seeing people's um, reactions and, and their thoughts on, you know, how you're doing or how you are as a person. I think this is such a, um, just really offers just such a small, you know, look into who you guys are. And so, um, as Jer says, like, I think this is exciting as we progress and, and to not even like being in the relationship, but even to just starting the relationship, right? And I think that's what's exciting is that um, you all have gotten to this point and the starting of that is like the face to face. And so um, best of luck to you all. And, you know, just y'all have been great. Yeah. Yeah. Just echoing what Callie said to you, I think just like, this process of us as hosts getting to know you all as well. And I know a few of you have said it and I'll echo it too. I think you guys are a, a gr great group of men, even the one who have been eliminated. Um, I think just us getting to know you has definitely shown us that there are a lot of great Hmong brothers out there um, and Joe included. I know he's not Hmong, but I want to make sure we include him. He's not left out. I think um, you guys all bring something very different to the table and whether you end up with charm or not, um, Kelly and I do really wish you guys the best um, in finding love and, and all of your future endeavors. So, all right, let's get things rolling, Kelly. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to bring charm on. We're going to remove ourselves from the screen and we'll get elimination started. So best of luck to all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Hello, guys. Hey, guys. <clears throat> hey, Char. Really hey, Char. Hi. How are you guys today? Good. 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 Pretty good. Yeah. Nervous. Hey. <laughs> yeah. So as I told you guys yesterday, I've made up my mind that I am only going to meet three of you in person. Um, um, and I wanted to thank you guys all for putting in all the efforts you guys have so far, for giving it 110%, and that's why you guys are here today. Um, 
because I mean, yeah, you guys are all great men. Uh, you guys all have great qualities. Um, but I'm only gonna put three, four that I think I see more potential with. And, um, I don't have much more to say. Do you guys have anything to say before the elimination starts? Just uh, best of luck to everybody. And Charm, thank you so much for all your hard work. I know that we don't see the behind the scenes of everything you've done, but you know we can only imagine how much hard work you've put into everything. So thank you for taking all of us to making it this far. Yeah, and it's been fun, Charm. So uh, from the beginning to the end, it's been quite an experience and uh, definitely enjoy the opportunity to have gotten to know you um, through the past couple of months. So uh, whoever you choose, you know, you choose who is the perfect match or the one that you uh, feel that's the right fit for you. So thank you again for the opportunity and good luck, guys. Yep. And then what I want to say was, you know, Charm, you're amazing. And, you know, I think we could all agree no matter who you pick, we'll still be happy for you. You know, um, we just want you to be happy in the end. You know what I mean? So that's all that matters. So thank you. Just like what all of them said. <laughs> Okay. And uh, just, I just want to thank you for you know giving all of us the opportunity. Um, a lot of great men, so uh, you know you know who fits you best. So uh, you know whoever you pick today, uh, best of luck to everyone. And yeah, thank you. All right, well you guys are ready. I'm gonna go ahead and start the elimination. Eric, will you continue this journey with me with my love and meet me in person? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Chang, will you continue this journey with me with my love and to meet me in person? I sure will. Okay, Jura and Jesse. There is only one heart left. Whoever doesn't receive a heart, they're going to let me today. And before I say the last name, I just want to thank you guys both for coming this far and for giving me a chance and giving yourself a chance to take that leap of faith and just out there like I have and I admire you guys for that. Jesse, will you continue this journey with me to find love and to meet me in person? Yes, I'd love to. You're sure. such a great person. Oh my god. I know like we had to chat the other day, like during our one on one. It was so much fun. We had a chat and we did speak about us having a lot of common. Um and I remember mentioning that, you know, sometimes when I have a lot of common with guys, I feel like sometimes it's just more of a friendly relationship. And I feel like in this case it was kind of more along that line. Um you're so talented, you're so smart, you're so sweet, you're such a gentleman. You have so many great qualities. <laughs> and but um I just don't know or I just don't think I see romantic spark, unfortunately. That's okay. any, um, I understand and you know, um I kind of felt that vibe anyways when you uh when you had mentioned that and i'm sorry that we don't have that kind of connection but if all else fails you know i think that we can go off and be great friends because we do have a lot yeah. in common i would love like, that yeah yeah so going to Shin, i hope that this wasn't too hard of a decision for you and it's not and don't beat yourself up too much for it i hope that someday in the future we can become better friends as well so you know thank you so much for everything you've done and all your hard work and I wish you nothing but the best in your in your future and everybody who you pick. Um, I know that whoever you pick is gonna love you a lot. So 
best of luck to you. Thank you, George. I'll um, hopefully see you in the future sometime, maybe at the New Year's or something. <laughs> Definitely. Right. Well, take care and thank you so much again. Yeah, take care. Um, Hey guys. Hey Ken. Hey Ken. I'm gonna come closer so I can talk to you guys. Okay, so we're we're gonna meet each other starting next week. <laughs> next week is the following week. So I hope you guys are excited to meet me. I'm really excited to meet you guys in person to see if there's really something there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, I'm really excited. Hopefully, my leg heals faster now. <laughs> <laughs> hope you I hope you'll be able to look down a little. If not, it's okay too. Oh my God! I have really cool dates planned out. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Hope you have some really cool dates planned yeah. out. I, I do. I. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think that's it. Then um, I'll go ahead and send Olivia and Kelly the the details for the dates, and they'll go ahead and uh, let you guys know once they get the information. And then uh, I'll see you guys next week or the following week. All right, sounds good. <laughs> we'll see you. All right, bye. Bye, okay. All right, welcome back, everyone. We are back. Charm just did the elimination. And so, um, Kelly, are you surprised at who she eliminated and who she's going to bring forward to meet her in person? Am I surprised? Um, I think. I mean, I, I didn't really have an idea of who, you know, because I feel like we, th they're all four great guys and they all have like different things that are going for them. Um, and so in terms of just being surprised, you know, I feel like, um, yeah, I mean, I guess I, I, I am surprised because it's, I mean, but then now that I think about it, I'm like, but who, who could she, who was the other person that she could have eliminated? Right. It's just like trying to like when when you're supposed to, you know, pick the best answers. Right. And it's like, oh, like they all sound pretty good. But, you know, so I think I'm uh, but, you know, as I reflect on it, I think that these three last men are really good options for her. Yeah, I'd have to. All right. Well, let's bring Charm on and um, talk to her and see how she's feeling after elimination. Hey, Charm. How are you feeling? Um, I feel, I feel good. Um, I think I made the right decision. Jer was very understanding. Um, and he just wants me to be happy and find the right person for me. So he's very supportive. And he told me that he wants to be friends and uh, I would love that, you know, cause I think he's a great guy. Um, I had oh, so much fun with him on a friendly mm -hmm. level. And so, yeah. 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 I, I, again, my radar is completely off, so I don't know, but I did feel like you guys had a lot of fun, uh, during your one-on-one -on -one date. Right. I feel like I was just sharing with Kelly. I felt like that was one of the only dates where I felt like you laughed so much and you guys just had so much fun and it was just really natural, yeah. which yeah. I, I can see that being, um, more friends too. Cause I think when you're comfortable with people, you're able to like be yourself and laugh and crack jokes and I mean you spoke monk for like half the date which is unheard of we've never seen that done before and so I do feel like you know when you're comfortable or even like when you couldn't say things correctly he was like I get it I know what you're trying to say you know which I thought was really sweet so yeah so it definitely feels like it's getting like real <laughs> I feel like we've been on this journey with you for so long, and uh -huh. now it's like here, right? This mm -hmm. moment. Oh. That get to yeah. Yeah. I'm really, it, 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 see, it feels surreal. You know, like I'm so used to seeing these guys on the computer, and just knowing that next week that I'm going to finally meet them in person is it's really, it's really exciting. Yeah. <laughs> Are you, um, is there maybe um, certain people that you might feel a little bit nervous where you're like, it might, you know, I might see them and it might be like, oh, darn it. Like the connection isn't there. Do you have that fear at all? Oh, yeah. I think I have it with all of them. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I am all about energy too. And 
the way a guy presents and carries himself. So if I just don't see it, then I just don't see it. <laughs> yeah. All right, Charm. Thank you so much for hopping on with us to do a recap. We really appreciate it. We know it's been, um, you know, a tough decision and it's only going to get tougher from here because you're going to get to meet them in person. Um, once you are done with your in-person dates, of course, we have to do one last elimination before the final two. And then from there, it's even it's going to get even harder from there. I right. Know. Because then you you would already have built some kind of like um, physical connection with them. Right. And so it's even going to get harder. So just be mentally prepared for all of that. But we are so excited for you and we cannot wait to see what happens. I can't wait to. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.